Someone tells me the earth and everything in it will belong to me if I catch the horizon before sundown. I sprint, kicking up dust all the while. It seems I run with everyone in the world standing on my head. What's that for, I ask. I already know how to eat my own head. The more I run, the more I feel like a burned bit of rice fallen by the stove. Someone is using my braids as bridle and whip. It seems I'll run until my womb falls out of my body. I look down a few times. I run until sundown and a bell sounds from the four corners of the earth. I hum a working woman blues and lie down with my eyes beating. I sink into the ground, down past stone and metal and water and fire. Am I dead? I ask. There are bodies all around me. A swarm of flies takes custody of a pile of corpses. Get up. An African witch from Atlanta says, There is no Hades. You don't get to choose death. You're an immigrant, not a refugee. You've flown to and fro over the ocean in peace. There are many who look like you, down in the water, down where Solomon's jinns found gems and deeper. They've murmured in the sludge and oil of primordial time, throwing up pearls and other stones. Thrive, says an African witch from Atlanta. I rise, my mind looming with fly song. Go to your sisters, the witch says. I rouse two women. We walk in a huddle, covering each other with our funk. The witch lights incense and smokes our hair. The white linen we wear face up in the grass, watching billow topped by billow, our hems blowing around our knees. Once rested, the witch demands a spell for flourishing. Recite reason to live, she says. My sisters exhale light a mist. I start with my origins. I am Lovin, who knows her mother and her mother's mothers 20 generations back. I am a lion born into a house of fire. I have been asleep a long time. I was playing patty cake with my shadow and other shadows for too long. I died chasing the horizon and got up anyway. I am here to inherit the earth and everything in it. I want what every being has a right to, and then more than that. I possess one compass, which is my soul, and it shall never err. May my voice penetrate as a steed in battle penetrates an enemy mass. I have restored myself. We go to the place between dreams. It's buttressed by ancestors who tell us they're proud. They interrupt our waking motions to remind us they're proud. Let us go to the place between dreams. If you're too worried about women running shoeless away from whatever or whoever pursues them, 
ready to slam a door on their ankles, go to the place between dreams, to where no woman has to run with a broken ankle and a heart that's a blade in a washer, tumbling on and bleeding into a stomach that receives this blood as acid. Go to the place between dreams, where your flank shimmers in the moonlight or streetlight of your pleasure. Go to the place between dreams where all the light is yours. Even if it looks like headlights or streetlights or floodlights held by whatever or whoever pursues you, the light is yours. Even if it has to drag you at first, hold it against your beating stomach and gurgling heart, go to the place between dreams where a woman's mild voice looms. She offers instruction you can't yet hear follow her. She has never run with a broken ankle or with her thigh shimmering in any light not her own go to the place between dreams. There is no hesitation. There is no imperfection. Sit and imagine the pleasure of sitting in your own lap. You didn't know your voice was so musical. Why it pleased the ones who love you and repulsed the ones confused by you. Let particles linger at the back of your tongue, a muscular member, that thing capable of true penetration. Soft, but never flaccid, may your thoughts be muscular too. May you make so many things your tendons pulse, aching for work. On earth they worked women so hard, their wounds fell out while walking. Bless the wound fallen from a woman who had to keep walking. You carried the pain of your humiliated mother on the outer curve of each shoulder blade. Leave all that hallway and stairway and bathtub moaning here on this hot marble. It cannot re-enter in defiance of your illuminated flank. You do not fear any examination or detention or operation. Obviously God has removed something from you and waits for you to go to the place past dreaming so you can ask. The address you are seeking is the place past dreaming and when you go there God will return the flesh or dimness removed so you can be birthed into the place where you are now lying flank first and fingering your own flesh with all your faculties intact. We refuse death by spells. We refuse death by attack. We refuse death by falling. We refuse death and depressions. We refuse the spirits that attempt oppression, and we refuse the spirits that attempt possession. We refuse humans who call themselves gods, who try to graft hellfire onto our bodies and raise columns of fire in our yards. We are looking for better myths. We are tired of falling and finding ourselves underfoot. We are searching the earth for images that draw parables. We left the serpents underfoot in peace and refuse their bites. We refuse death by discourse. We refuse death by exile. We refuse death by falling. And we refuse death in depressions. We are looking for a better myth. We've only been looking since Eve.